Hola fellow YouTubers, I'm Pippi Elf. Today we are going to read a story called Santa's Runaway Elf. Ooh. Let's get started, shall we? Tiny Elf longed for the day to be big enough to go to the North Pole to be one of Santa's helpers. It's the most fun ever. The bigger elf saw them. Wait and see. The tiny didn't wait another minute. So he hitched a ride on a shooting star and made a soft landing in a snowbank. He looked around. Was this the North Pole or was he lost? Then he heard a deep, kindly voice ask, Are you lost, little fella? It was Santa. He took a deep breath. I want to be one of your helpers, Santa. I know I'm small, but I promise I'll work hard and grow fast. The old man chuckled. First, meet two members of my team. Dancer and Prancer, gasped Tiny. Right, laughed Santa as the reindeer pranced and danced for Tiny. Santa gave each one a sugar lump. The reindeer shook their antlers as the lights they pranced off. Then Santa sat down on a log and took Tiny on his knee. Suppose you visit all my workshops, said Santa. Then pick out the job you think you can do best. Tiny's first stop was the carpentry shop. He climbed on a bench to see. Everywhere, Corona bells were it is a song and hammering, making all kinds of wonderful toys for Christmas. Don't sip on those nails, boy, said an elf. I've got 30 more lighters finished by midnight. Tiny saw the elves' tools were much too big. This wasn't the job for him. In the paint shop, Tiny watched elves carefully painting blue eyes and gray spots on a white rocking horse. Tiny knew if that horse didn't look just right. Some youngster was going to be very disappointed. He left. Tiny didn't stay long at the doll dressmaking shop either. You're a perfect size one, cried one of the ladies. But Tiny hadn't come to the North Pole to be a doll dressmaker's dummy. The little elf was feeling pretty discouraged. Would he ever find the job he could do best? Suddenly he smelled something. Something delicious. Come in, called Mrs. Santa. Taste my new candy canes. Yummy, exclaimed Tiny. He longed to stay and taste all the Christmas treats in Mrs. Santa's kitchen, but he must keep on job hunting. I had an idea. I'll make a job for myself and make Christmas cards. At the North Pole Library, he looked through books of poems and pictures. Finally, Tiny made up a Christmas card of his own. Wait till Santa sees this, he said. He showed Santa his card. The old man shook his head. Tiny, I'm afraid you haven't learned to spell or draw well enough to make Christmas cards. And the wise old man told Tiny to stop and take a snow break. So Tiny ran outside and built the biggest, jolliest snowman ever. Now for the last workshop, said Tiny. I know I'll find a job there. Workshop was full of trucks, planes, and trains. Professor Willie Elf launched a toy spaceship just for Tiny. Please, may I work here? Asked Tiny. Do you have a diploma from engineering school? Asked the professor. Tiny didn't have a nursery school diploma. Outside, he met some elves hauling a sled full of panda bears. Can I help? He asked. Sure, they said. Hang on to this rope while we clear a path. The sled was too heavy for Tiny. It skidded downhill, dumping all the toy pandas in the snow. The elves were very cross. Go away, they told Tiny. You're no help. Blinded by tears, Tiny ran into Santa. I'm no good for any job here sobbed the little elf. There's nothing wrong with you that won't be right in a year, said Santa. 
then you'll be big enough and smart enough to be one of my best helpers. Honest? Said Tiny, drying his eyes. Right now, there's a job that fits you. Come on, said Santa. It's almost time for takeoff. On their way to the reindeer stables, Santa told Tiny how he longed for company on his Christmas Eve rides. Every inch of my sleigh is, in need, is needed for toys, said Santa. But you're small enough to perch on my shoulder. Mrs. Santa and all the helpers came and gave Tiny and Santa a big send-off. Santa's runaway elf came home on Christmas Eve. See you next year, called Santa. Tiny waved. A year isn't so long if you spend it growing, said Tiny. Merry Christmas! It is the story of Santa's runaway elf. Adios and Feliz Navidad!